hey guys welcome back to my channel it has been a minute i haven't posted for a whole month but i'm back with more videos i've been super busy doing a lot of things and one of those things is growing out my nails being in quarantine has kind of been the catalyst to this nail growth journey that quite frankly was overdue i'm gonna share with you some products that really helped me grow my nails and tell you all about my nail care routine before we get into that i want to give you some history on my nails in middle school and in high school School, I always bit my nails it was a bad habit that I never could get rid of and as soon as I was old enough to start getting acrylic nails I went with it because I never had long nails for long periods of times I would be wearing acrylics constantly non-stop if I ever did stop wearing acrylics it would be only for a week and they were so thin after wearing acrylics for such a long time that I couldn't even wear them naturally even if I wanted to because they were so damaged and super thin having acrylics on my nails obviously helped them feel like they were strong but underneath all the acrylic they were super damaged and super thin I did go a period without wearing acrylics, but I switched over to wearing gel manicures and also when the new dipping system came out, I started wearing that. I would alternate going to the nail salon and also doing dip powder at home. The longest that I've gone with acrylics was probably like two years in a row non-stop. I would get acrylics as soon as those came off, put a new set. Being in quarantine kind of forced me to stop doing acrylics. I started doing dip powder at home and after a while I started to realize that my nails were super damaged. Not only that, they were getting super thin. They had like little red marks and whenever I would like touch it gently, I can feel how it was so sensitive. My nails were so worn out. I decided that I was gonna stop doing that and let my nails grow out. This was not the first time that I tried doing that, but this has been the only time that I've succeeded. There were some times where I just wanted to go back to my routine of getting dip powder just so my nails look cute, but I held off and now my nails are feeling stronger and I'm loving it. I have bare nails, no acrylics, no nail polish. Well, except for one thing, which I'm gonna get into. Before I started, the process i went on youtube i did my research and found products that would help with my nail growth i also did research on the things that i shouldn't be doing i learned that in order for your nails to grow you need to take care of your cuticle that starts with not over trimming your cuticle one thing that i've been a really big fan on is cuticle oil and i have this cuticle oil that i got on amazon and it's the kushio cuticle oil milk and honey smell and I have this big old jar and I use it all the time as you can see and I carry it with me. I actually have two smaller bottles. I have one here that I keep on my vanities. In the mornings I go ahead and I moisturize my cuticle whenever I'm doing my makeup. That's my opportunity to add some of this oil. I also carry another container like this in my purse so whenever I'm out and about and my cuticle needs some moisturizing, I go ahead and do it. Even when I think it doesn't need it, I still do it. And that's really helped me out, keeping my hands looking nice and refreshed. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some right now. Just go ahead and grab the brush and I just get my cuticle. And do it on all fingers. I just go in and I massage that in and I do this, I don't know, like five times a day. I do it a lot. My boyfriend tells me that I constantly moisturize my cuticle, but it has to get done. <laughs> Another product that I've been loving that's really helped me with my nail growth. A lot of people recommended this product and it is kind of expensive, but it's totally worth it and that is OPI nail envy and it's a nail strengthener nail polish and it has this weird grayish off-white color the directions on this product is that you go ahead and put two coats of this on the first day and then every other day you put another coat on the seventh day you take off the polish and you reapply and at first i thought maybe they did it this way so like that you can use the product and repurchase it asap but it actually helps out now i don't do it as often as i did in the beginning now i do it 
like once a week I do two coats and I think that's good enough or maybe I should be doing it like I did in the beginning but either way this product works I bought it on Amazon and it was $17 so it is a little bit expensive but it's totally worth it at the end another product that I've always done but now I appreciate it more than ever is always moisturizing my hands so I carry a lotion and my purse I have a smaller one um, I really enjoyed this one in particular. This one was alright. It was a travel size, but don't really recommend this one, so maybe I should just put it to the side. But this Gold Bond Ultimate Skin Protection Hand Cream, this one really moisturizes and it's not uncomfortable. You know how sometimes you put lotion and it feels oily or uncomfortable? This one does not. As you can see, it's nice and thick, creamy. And when I go ahead and put it on, it just feels good. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. It doesn't feel heavy, oily. And it actually moisturizes because some of these hand creams don't do their job. I always have my hands moisturized, cuticles moisturized. I have another product that I recommend, but I don't have it with me. I forgot it at my job. And I purchased that other item when I purchased this. And I started doing this routine and it really, really helped. And that is the Onyx Professionals. It's called Hard As Huff Nail Straightening Cream and it looks like this. What I do with that one, I go ahead and grab a little bit and I go in and I moisturize my cuticles. And I don't know if it's overkill, I'm doing cuticle oil, I'm doing lotion, I'm doing everything. But it really has helped out with my nails, especially how strong they are. I never thought I was going to have strong nails like this. I'm not scared of not having any dip or gel or anything to help them with making them strong. They're naturally strong now. It's crazy. I never thought that I would be saying that. Last but not least, I have a glass nail file. This nail file is gentle on your nails. It's not like the other nail files that are super rough and take off too much of your nail at a time. I also learned that you shouldn't be filing your nails back and forth like that. Instead, you should be filing in one direction. This nail file really came through in the beginning stages of growing out my nails since they were super thin and super damaged they kept splitting down the middle i would have to constantly be filing down my nails so like that they wouldn't bend they wouldn't break now i use this nail file like once a week if i want to get rid of some of the length one thing that i recently tried was using this as a bottom coat and i went ahead and put some color nail polish and i discovered that this does not chip so i was able to keep a regular nail polish for over a week without chipping which never happens that's why i always had to do gel manicures but now that i discovered this guy this is the secret to wearing regular nail polish once in a while and not having any chipping which is great. I feel comfortable and confident enough to not wear anything and just have like a clear top coat like I do now. And it's great, my nose feel healthy. I don't have the urge to bite them like I used to. I don't have the urge to go get acrylics now that the nail shops are open or to get gel manicures or dip powder or anything like that. I'm just gonna stick to my routine. I'm probably gonna make another video in a few months when my nails start growing even longer. I never thought that I would be wearing my nails like this. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future nail growth update. I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye guys. In love.